In this video, I'm going to talk you through how you can customize your blog site's 404 error page. Now, most themes come with a 404 error page built into them, and the theme that I'm using on this site has a 404 error page that looks like this. And it's all right, but you can customize it if you wish to have your own message on there rather than the default one. And what you do is come to the dashboard and you want to go down to where it says appearance and then editor make sure that the theme you want to edit is shown here in this little window um, I'm going to use the default one 2010 for this demonstration and you'll see the various templates are listed here at the side and the one that we're going to edit in this video here is this top one 404 template which is the file name 404 PHP you must make sure that your PHP files are writable on your server otherwise this won't work and it won't save it uh, so if you do get an error when you save then you'll have to go into cPanel and make sure that the PHP files on your server are writable okay let's just click here on the 404 template now one tip with this is the 404 templates in fact all the templates on the themes are permanent once you've made a change there's no going back so what I suggest you do is to copy this window so right click and select all and then right click again and copy copy that to your clipboard and then save it as a text file so if something goes wrong if once you've edited it uh, you don't like it or it doesn't work you can then go back and restore it exactly the way that it was now I've already done that before I started recording this video so I'm going to go ahead and work on and what you want to do is you want to look for the sort of text that was already on the uh, site here so you can see it says not found and then we've got the message and the search window and you can see the text here so I'm going to change that now one thing that I've discovered through trial and error is you should not use an apostrophe or a single quote in your text otherwise for some reason this doesn't work properly one of the idiosyncrasies of PHP I guess so it's just like in high school when you're writing your term paper you don't use contractions when you're writing something on the message here so let's just change this let's see what let's change the whole message there I'm just gonna highlight that and delete it and I'm gonna say sorry we could not find that page and I'm going to leave the second part of the message perhaps searching will help and then come down here and then click on where it says update file and click there it says file edited successfully now if I go back to the error page this is a a page that I've typed in that doesn't exist and if I refresh there you go you can see it's changed that and you can do all sorts of things uh, on your 404 page to make it unique to your site